Once again, I'm Miss Adele, and I hope you're doing great. So I already know that all of our favorite movies and TV shows and plays all start out as stories. And we also already know how to write a story and how to come up with a creative idea. That's great. But how do stories turn into TV shows and movies and plays? First, you have to turn your story into a script. In order to turn your story into a script, you're going to have to do a couple of things and make a couple of changes. Now, stories are big on description. You want to describe everything around because when you're reading, you have to imagine everything and you have to help the reader see what you're seeing when you're writing. But in a movie or a play, they're gonna be able to see it. So you're gonna to need to focus on dialogue, which is what the characters are saying. All of your descriptions in your story are gonna turn into the set. All of the verbs that you're having the characters do are gonna turn into the actions. You need to make sure you know exactly what each character is going to say. Simplify everything. A script needs to be easy to read so your actors or you, if you're using puppets, don't get confused or bogged down by too much writing. You need to look at the script and know where you are at any given point. Remember to keep your script short. A lot of times the dialogue that's in a script is going to be memorized. So if there's too many words, you might not be able to remember them all. So make sure you keep it short to the point and exactly what you want to happen. I've written a short story so that you can see how it's turned into a script. It's just a small scene, so it's not a full story. It doesn't exactly have a problem, a fix, or an end just yet, because I wanted it to be short enough that you could see how it looks turned into a script. My story is, Mary went to school on Thursday. It was sunny out, and she was very happy. She skipped up to her friend, Joe. Hi, Joe, she said. How was your weekend? Joe looked mad. Awful, Joe replied. I lost my favorite pencil. Mary felt bad for Joe because she knew how much he liked his red pencil. Don't worry, Joe, she said. We'll look for it together. Turning my story into a script. My script. Simplify it. Scene one. Where is it? Inside school. It's daytime. Mary happily approaches Joe. Hi, Joe. How was your weekend? Joe, leaning against a wall, looking upset. Awful. I lost my favorite pencil. Mary frowns, then seems to get an idea and says brightly, Don't worry, Joe. We'll look for it together. So, you have Mary and exactly what you want her to do and then just what she says. You have Joe in exactly what you want him to be doing. Think about what you want his body to be doing and what you want his face to be doing because you have to think what the audience is going to be seeing. Then just what he says. Back to Mary because she talks next. Think about her face and then think about what you want her to be doing because her face is going to change because of what she's doing and then what she says. Now, you'll notice that I have color coded mine because it's easier for me to tell what each character is doing if they have a specific color. Now, when I see red, I'm going to know that it's always going to be Mary. Mary is red and then when she speaks, it's underlined in red. Joe is in green and anytime Joe speaks, it's also in green. I've underlined and circled all of the actions in blue. So I know that anytime it's gonna be an action, it's gonna be in blue. 
You can do that if you want to. It just helps me to know what's going on in my script. Once you have every part of your story written out in script form, you'll be ready to rehearse your play and then perform your play. And that's the most exciting part. I can't wait to see everything you've done. Have a great day. Stay safe.